Hello, this is Noseman from the Maxon training team. And in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to retime complex multi-object animations into a single F-curve using a time track. This is my initial animation. And uh, it's made in a very simple manner. I have uh, just a bunch of staggered keyframes that move uh, these little cylinders in the Y position. And that's all, nothing else. What I want to do is find a way to control this animation. So this animation from here to here, I want to control it using an F curve so I can make them go up and down and retime them slower, faster, and so forth. Because now we have a bunch of F curves we need to deal with. So what I'm going to do is go to any object in the scene. And in this case, I'm choosing this parent. It can be any object you create. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to be part of the hierarchy or anything like that. All you need to do is make sure that it exists in your dope sheet. You right click and you go and you add a special track that's called time track. And uh, what this is going to do is uh, create a keyframe at the beginning at a value of 0% and at the end of your preview range with a value of 100%. So you select it and you can see the value over here. And I'm going to use this curve to control the previous animation. In order to do that, what you need to do is go and select all the objects you want to control. And uh, when you select all these animated tracks, you will see that over here in the properties tab in the attributes manager, we get the time track. You need to drag the time, drag the word time in here. So now my animation is not controlled by the keyframes anymore. It doesn't matter where I'm gonna put these keyframes here. What does matter is the value. So what this is going to do is it's going to use the first value where the value of the time track is zero and the last value where the time track is one, a hundred percent that is. So these are not staggered anymore because the offset makes no difference. We can fix that and that's what we're going to do now. If we want these to be staggered, we need to make sure that they all have a keyframe at the beginning with the same value as this. So I'm going to make sure that my playhead is on this side here, and you can see that the time track is moving them. If I add any keyframes here, these keyframes are going to be with the value of the current position. So the easiest thing I can do now is just use my control key to make copies and make copies by dragging these right there at the beginning. If you have more objects, just make sure that you remove the time track from these tracks and then just make sure your playhead is here and you can just click your keyframe button over here. But for now, let's do it this way. So control, drag, 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 and drag. So now you can see that we have a keyframe here and a keyframe here, and the staggering happens in between. So now if I zoom out and I press rewind and play, you will see that they are staggered. And not only that, I can actually go and use Press H here to bring the time track, H to zoom everything. And I can go maybe change this and I can control click to add some values here and press shift to break this. And watch this now. I can actually start animating this any way I want. So with shift, we break the tangency. We can add more of these, break the tangency, select this, move this up. And there you go. We are using a single F curve to animate our complex animation. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.